Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly talk to you about a scenario you may face when dropshipping. Now, this is the item I sold uh, an oil filled radiator 11 fan heater that went for $69.95. Um, so I sold this item, then I ordered it through the com uh, a certain company. Uh, I'm not going to name the company now, so um, it's quite well known online online company. Anyway, so I ordered it. Now I made a mistake. Instead of ordering, clicking, I did not bother to change. The, uh, somehow I did not change my delivery address. But I, I had it on the system and said something went wrong. So the item. When I realized my mistake immediately, I got onto the phone because this company have their customer services open till 12 midnight um, UK time. So I told them, look, I made a mistake, blah, 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 order number this, please kindly send it to this address, not my address, buyer's address. No problem. I thought that was all sorted. A couple of days later, what do I get? I get this radiator sent to my address. Fantastic. And what happened next is this package here sitting on, on, on the floor now. Right. This was sent to the buyer's address as a, a different type of radiator, as, as a stove radiator. They send that one to the to the um, the the buyer's address. Right. As soon as the buyer bought uh, saw that one. Immediately he put a a return issue, erased the return issue with paper, uh, sorry, with eBay. In the meantime, because it's my uh, my drop shipping account, it's a new account, they're holding on to $69.95 eBay. That's fantastic. So straight away, realizing my mistake and everything, because I told told the company what happened, and they were very good. They send another replacement to the guy, the original buyer's address. Yeah, they send a replacement radiator to their address. Right. In the meantime, the buyer already sent me the, the, the stove heater back to me. And now he was happy that he has, he's got his original oil filled radiator. But, um, now I got this stove radiator sitting on my on the floor here so again i need to go back to them and get another ticket send it back to the company i have no intention of keeping that because i don't need it now the the moral is this type of scenario you may face when you're starting your dropship business right so now what i, I did i rang ebay and said this is the problem the customer was happy and he did send me an email stating that he will withdraw the the return issue and I was having a quite a tough time to write in the eBay that everything was done. He was happy with it. Right. Even though the eBay saw the email, they weren't reluctant to let the phone go and then what I've told showed told eBay look the guy even sent me a, a good good feedback so I'm going to show you the feedback the moral of this story let's go to the feedback section of my account and I'll show you right it says here Great communication, received a different item, but correct item came next day. Brilliant. This is what she exactly says. Great communication, received different items, but correct item came next day. Brilliant. So, telling the eBay about this feedback, and they realize, yes, it was done, the job was done, everything was fine. Now they released my fund. So, 
when you're starting out on drop shipping make sure the first thing you always make sure is make sure before you click the button once twice three times make sure you make sure you got the the buyer's address proper address there before you click some cases you might click your own address and they will send it to you so i hope this uh, quick video has given you a thought to think about right and also at the same time what i'm thinking i am thinking of showing you everything about my dropship business and because it's a brand new business i'm sort of like uh, building it at the moment and i'm thinking of sharing with you ladies and gentlemen sharing with you how i'm getting on and all the struggle i'm going to face building this drop shipping business and that way you can learn with me well as i we but we can both learn together and highlight my ups and downs in this business so in the future videos I'm going to start showing you everything about how I'm, you know, basically like a blog site. So you get to see what's happening, not happening in my account and how I'm building this business. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button. Thank you so much.